In today's episode of Release of Radar, I'm going to help anybody with an ultra-wide monitor who's looking into dual PC streaming figure out how to get it set up. This is such an oddly specific thing, and I couldn't find any content on how to get this all going. So if you have an ultra-wide monitor and you have a second PC and you want to start streaming, I'm going to run through the basics with you in this video. All right, now, um, this is with a capture card, and I'm going to let that be known. I'm using the Elgato 4K60 Pro. It is kind of a pricey capture card, but that capture card is what gets the signal from my graphics card via an HDMI 2.1 cable into the Elgato's input. It's that silver cable right there. I know this cable management's a mess. I just moved into this place. But um, that is a very important thing you need to have to get the video signal from your graphics card to your streaming PC. So this, as I said, this is specifically with a dual PC setup. So I'm going to hop over onto my computer and show you guys what I've done. All right, so here I am on the gaming PC. This is not the streaming PC and that's important to know because what you're gonna do here has to be on the gaming PC. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to right click on your screen and uh, just note that this is specifically for NVIDIA GPUs. If you have an AMD graphics card, I'm sure you can figure out how to do the same thing with a little bit of research on the internet. So what you're gonna do is right click and then click on NVIDIA control panel. You're gonna wait for that to load. Once it loads, you want to click on where it says set up multiple displays. Now this is gonna depend on how many screens you have plugged in and whatever, but you can see what screen is what. It's gonna be pretty obvious to tell if you have multiple displays, which one is the ultra wide for me, you can probably tell that it's screen number two. So I do not have my capture card plugged in right now. So let me go do that and then I will show you guys what you need to do. So now my HDMI cable is connected from my graphics card into my capture card and you can see that the Elgato 4K60 Pro is display number four for me. So it shows up as a huge resolution because it has to be greater than the resolution of the monitor, my main screen, to be able to be captured with a capture card. So you can see that with this little display they have, display two is physically smaller than this display four, which is the 4K60 Mark II because display for my computer basically thinks it is a 4K monitor that's plugged into it. It's like, that's pretty much what your graphics card sees the capture card as. So what you're gonna wanna do is right click on display number two for me or whatever your ultra wide is and then click clone with and then make sure you click on whatever the capture card is. Now doing this makes sure that um, your capture card is getting mirrored what your gaming monitor sees. So you're literally just showing what's on the gaming monitor in real time to the capture card. You're just mirroring the displays. So once you do that, you will be able to get video from the gaming PC to the streaming PC. So now we're done with the gaming PC. We don't need it anymore. I'm gonna hop on the streaming PC and show you what else you need to do. Before we continue, there is one program you're going to need installed on the streaming PC. It's free, it's from Elgato's website. I'll have it linked in the description uh, below. It is called the 4K Capture Utility. Um, I'm pretty sure that the signal will not work without this, so you do need to have this installed on the streaming PC to be able to get this to work. All right, so here I am on the streaming PC now. I know this is going to look a little bit different because there's a different aspect ratio. Sorry about the cluttered desktop, but you guys only need to worry about the two programs in the middle, which are the 4K Capture Utility and Streamlabs OBS. So let's go ahead and boot up 4K Capture Utility, click on Capture, and it should just automatically look like that. And if it does, that means everything is working right. If it isn't, you might have to do a little bit of troubleshooting and that's not really stuff I'm gonna get into in this video because for me, I didn't have any issues. I plugged it in, downloaded that, and it worked perfectly fine. Now there is one thing that you need to check on this program. Make sure that those audio buttons aren't muted and there's a little setting cogwheel in the top corner. So click on that and once you get to there, you have to make sure that your audio output is set to that. It has to be specifically the line Elgato Game Capture. If it's not, you will not get any sound in Streamlabs OBS. Once that's done, go ahead and boot up Streamlabs. I'm going to go ahead and unclutter this and give you guys a fresh scene. So give me a second to do that and then we will jump into what all you need to do on Streamlabs OBS. All right, now that we have a whole new scene created, let's go ahead and walk through what you need to do. So there's a little plus button in the middle that you're gonna to wanna to click. It's next to a little folder icon and everything. So click that and then that's how you add a source. You're going to want to add a video capture device because that's what the streaming PC sees the Elgato game capture as. So you can name it if you want to, I didn't bother. 
and then just like that it should automatically detect your video capture device if you have a webcam plugged into your computer as well that also might be detected as a video capture device so you might have to open up the drop down menu just to make sure that that didn't get set as that and then you're gonna pretty much have to drag it around to make it fit in the correct aspect ratio and once you line everything up you should be good to go now in terms of audio um, it should just work with the 4k capture utility that takes care of that for you so I should uh, test audio right here I think yeah I opened up Firefox went to YouTube and let's just see if audio worked so I clicked on shield cow and yeah just like that that audio from the video capture device is playing from my Elgato and it's working perfectly fine and that audio is coming from the gaming PC so that's pretty much all you have to do to get streaming working on a ultra wide dual PC setup um, if you have any questions let me know down below I know I kinda rushed through some stuff but if you're looking at dual PC streaming at an ultra wide aspect ratio I'm kind of assuming you've done streaming before you know I'm not gonna run down through bit rates and whatnot you need uh, if you want to learn about specific bit rates for specific resolutions and whatnot um, you probably want to watch a video about somebody who knows more but yeah that's pretty much everything there is if you have any questions as I said um, let me know down in the comment section below I'll try to be as active as I possibly can in the description below I'm going to link to uh, some resources that I found helpful in figuring out how to do this uh, Harris Heller is a fantastic youtuber um, he is basically as he calls himself your stream doctor so if there's any questions that I am unable to answer maybe stop by one of his live streams at some point and ask him while he's live on Twitch I'll have his YouTube channel linked below as well as some other videos and other troubleshooting things that I found to help me kind of just get to the point where I am. I've been streaming with this ultra wide dual PC setup here for about give or take six months. Everything's been working perfectly fine. I haven't had any major issues or anything like that. So yeah, happy streaming everybody. Good luck. Uh, keep that grind going and uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode of Release Radar.